Hey, what's going on guys? This is Tyler, pharmacist with Pharmacy Update. And just wanted to give you guys an update on the drug ranitidine, or brand name Zantac, and some recent developments and reports that have come out. This is a very popular drug, both prescription and over-the-counter. So if you or someone you know takes ranitidine, you might want to hear this information. As of this recording, which is September 20th, 2019, no official recall from the FDA has been announced. However, they have found that some samples of ranitidine contain low levels of a probable human carcinogen, which means it could cause cancer. So I will get into what events have transpired so far. Like I said, there has been no official recall as of yet. So you will still find this medication in pharmacies and available to buy over the counter. However, you will want to keep up with the latest information on this as things can change very quickly and there might eventually be a recall in the near future. I'll also discuss what substance they have found in these samples and I'll discuss what you should do if you currently take ranitidine. So here we go. So last week on September 13th, 2019, the FDA released an official statement saying that they have found that some samples of ranitidine contain low levels of the probable human carcinogen NDMA. And we will discuss this substance a little more later on. Uh, but this is the same substance that they have found in many of the Valsartan and Losartan recalls over the past few years. Uh, the FDA says that they are investigating if these low levels of NDMA really pose any risk to patients. And this is because, according to them, the levels of NDMA that they have found so far barely exceed the levels that are found in some common foods that we eat. They did make a recommendation on what a patient should do if they are currently taking ranitidine, and I will go over that on a later slide. So it seems to me that this whole thing started uh, because of this company, Valisher Pharmacy. So from reports that I have read, Valashore Pharmacy conducts testing on all of their products before they dispense it to their patients. And they claim that in June of this year, during their routine testing of ranitidine products, that they found the probable human carcinogen NDMA. Because of this, they filed a petition with the FDA to recall all brand name Zantac and any other products that contain ranitidine. And they are kind of taking it to the FDA. Uh, they are saying that the levels of NDMA that they have found are far higher than what a normal person should take in a day. According to them, this is because they tested the drug and conditions that simulate the digestion of ranitidine products. So they're saying that you may not find a large amount of NDMA in the products themselves. But when a person takes it and they start digesting it, more NDMA can be formed under these conditions. This is my understanding anyway. They said they have worked with Stanford University and others and found that NDMA was the result of the inherent instability of the ranitidine molecule. And the CEO of Alisher, his name is David Light, he made a statement saying that there is no acceptable cancer risk for a drug like this. So because of all these issues, there has been a halt on the distribution of many ranitidine products. The drug company Novartis has said that they are issuing a precautionary distribution stop on all of their ranitidine products coming from the generic company Sandoz. Uh, they also say that their internal testing is ongoing and that products that are currently on the market will remain in place. Health Canada, which is basically the FDA of Canada, has decided to halt all distribution of ranitidine products from any company until they get more clarification on this issue. And something I thought was kind of weird, uh, Sandoz Canada is recalling all their prescription products of ranitidine in Canada. So I guess my question is, why are you recalling the medications in Canada, but not in the United States? Uh, I just thought that was kind of weird. But that might change here in the near future, who knows? 
they may eventually have a recall. Uh, but anyway, this is all the news updates that I have been able to find so far. If there are any other significant updates or recalls, I'll be sure to let you guys know. So now I just want to quickly cover the substance that they have found in these products, and that is NDMA. You might be surprised to find out that this toxic substance is found in many common foods, such as uh, cured meat, fish, beer, and also in tobacco smoke. So there is an acceptable level of NDMA that you can take per day, but the concern is currently that these ranitidine products may contain a higher level than what is acceptable. As we discussed, it is classified by the EPA as a probable human carcinogen, which again just means that it probably does cause cancer, especially if taken at higher doses for a long period of time. Uh, there has not been studies done in humans for obvious reasons, uh, but they have done some studies using animals to study how toxic this substance is. So in these animal studies, it has been found to be very toxic when given in high doses, and it is especially toxic to the liver. They also found that rats exposed to low levels of NDMA for a long period of time, uh, these rats did develop cancerous tumors on their liver. And again, this has not been studied in humans, but it can be inferred from these animal studies that it is a toxic substance to humans. And during my research, I did find some articles that said NDMA has been used as a poison before. Um, someone used NDMA to try and poison someone else. There is actually a well-documented case where a husband tried to poison his wife by putting NDMA on jam and giving it to her. And interestingly enough, she did later die from liver failure. So this substance is definitely not something you want to take, especially in doses higher than the acceptable level. And this is why this could be such a big problem. Now on to my final topic. What should you do if you are currently taking ranitidine? And this is from the FDA. Their position right now is that they are not telling people to stop taking ranitidine at this time. They believe, due to their initial findings, that the risk of developing any complications is low. But they do say that if you yourself do not feel comfortable taking this drug due to these recent developments, you can speak with your doctor to try and find an alternative treatment. There are other medications that can be used to treat heartburn, uh, which is what the vast majority of people take this drug for. Uh, just off the top of my head, I know famotidine, or brand name Pepsid, uh, it's actually in the same drug class as ranitidine, and there has not been any issues identified with it as of yet, so that it is a possible alternative. Just remember that before you make any medication decisions, to always consult with your doctor or pharmacist first, uh, but anyway, as of today, this is the only recommendation that the FDA is making. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. I want to thank you for watching. If you'd like to keep up with the latest pharmacy and medical updates, please subscribe to my channel. I will for sure be keeping an eye on this situation for any further developments, and I will let you guys know if any new information comes out. So thank you guys again, and have a great day.